We look at the fire, uh, take into effect the fuels, the slope, and uh, the weather that uh, is forecasted and what we are seeing. Uh, so we try to figure out the fire spread, where it's going to go, when it's going to get there, and uh, what effects the fire is going to have. Is it going to be a severe fire or is it just going to move, move through slowly? Uh, this area has a lot of beetle kill lodgepole pine, which is the number one fuel that we watch for in these high altitude forests. Just because it, when it dies, it has what we call popcorn hanging off the branches. It burns like popcorn. It's actually the buds from the lodgepole. Uh, extremely flammable um, and puts off a whole lot of heat. We had that stuff burning up on the mountain and then we had a low pressure system that was skirting us moving into the area, producing sustained 40 to 50 mile an hour winds. Uh, the lodgepole itself, when it burns, it usually confines itself to a patch uh, that burns and expands out. But when we get that kind of winds behind it, it, uh, it moves quite rapidly. We had some four to eight mile runs of where it did move through that, that lodgepole pine. Uh, totally wind driven. If you take a look at the shape of the fire, you can tell which way the fire was burning that day. Uh, totally wind driven pushes on this fire. Well, the snow really mellowed it out. Um, it helped us uh, because it gave us some breathing room. Uh, didn't put the fire out because uh, this is large, large trees, large fuel, large stuff that's burning. Put the grasses out, put the, the pine needles out, uh, put uh, you know the, the stuff that was laying on the ground, put it out or really decreased it. Uh, the larger stuff, the trees, the, the, the lodgepole pine uh, that's dead up there, that stuff keeps burning. I mean, yeah, the snow might put out the top out if it's laying on the ground, but that stuff burns underneath. It doesn't really matter how much snow you get at one time, it has to be over a long period of time. So what we're seeing, and over the next couple days we'll see more of, is places where that heavier fuel is starting to put smoke back up. Uh, we started seeing it yesterday, and it's going to increase throughout the week as with the higher temperatures and lower ages. So this fire, uh, we're crawling the spread with uh, you know our crews and stuff, but this fire will be smoking and will be active interior until we get sustained storms on top of it. There's large patches of green. This didn't slick off the whole area, didn't make the whole area black. There's what we call a mosaic pattern. So there's large patches of unburnt stuff, uh, be it uh, trees, the grasses, the brush, whatever, that are still on the interior. Some of them, if they do have heat next to them, will consume um, and it's actually not really bad for them because it's a low intensity fire that's moving through there. But yeah, the, there are big patches, big donut holes in here that, uh, that will be putting up smoke over the next uh, five to six weeks probably until we get sustained snow on it. This time of year, the days are getting shorter, so that's on our side. But what'll make that stuff burn more intensely is the, the higher temperatures and along with the higher temperatures, we have the lower relative humidities. Uh, the only real thing that'll make it move right now is some kind of sustained wind on it. Um, and luckily, at this point in time, they're not forecasting any high winds, any high sustained winds for the next 10 days out. So we're looking pretty good at this time, but do expect it to burn. And we might even see some pretty good smoke uh, on some days as some of these patches burn out, but they aren't expected to move. Um, and we always get an inversion in these mountains uh, where the, the smoke and the warm air is trapped at the lower elevations. That's when we're going to see more smoke, where it's going to be more problematic. Uh, during the day we can loft the smoke up to a real high altitude and the transport winds get rid of it. Uh, but at night, you know, we're still going to have a lot of smoke down in the valleys and this is going to increase over the next few days. Um, it's mainly the interior fuels uh, that are burning out and obviously at night they're going to put out more smoke.